Oftentimes, the reason why people don't have what they want, that they don't have the prosperity they want, is because they don't realize that the only way to receive is to give. The only way to receive is to give. Now, if you take your hands as a, as a, as a, as a symbol of this, if I'm giving, if I'm giving, I'm in a position to receive. It's the same thing. Giving and receiving are the same. Now, if I'm taking, if I'm taking, I'm in the position to sacrifice. I'm not able to receive. The only thing I can do is sacrifice. But if I'm giving, I'm already in the posture and the position to receive. So, when we are looking for prosperity in anything, we have to look to where we're giving in that particular area of our lives. If we're lonely, how much are we giving to people? If we are, um, if we're fighting, how much are we giving? How, how much are we? How much compassion are we giving? And then, of course, if we need money, how are we supporting other people financially? What are we giving our money to? Where are we putting our money? A lot of times, people say you give to get, giving you you give to receive. In a way, that's true, but don't think of it that way. Think of giving and receiving as being the same thing. When you're giving, and not sacrificing, but truly giving, you are receiving. It happens at the same moment in spirit. Now, in the world, it does appear like there is a a time lag between when you give and when you receive. But in reality, it's happening all at once. And in this world, in this particular world, you have to give in the same form that you want to receive. So a lot of times people will say, oh, I need money. And I say, well, maybe you should, um, maybe you should find some place to give some money. Oh, I can't afford it. I'll just go volunteer my time. And my point of view with that is that's great. You should volunteer your time, especially if you want more time. But if you want more money, don't give time give money. And it, you might find uh, some, some place to give money to that, that you really feel is, is, um, is doing good works, and you're thinking, well, I don't have that much to give, so it, it, what, what, ma- what does it matter? No, maybe all you can give is a dollar. But think in terms of when you, re- when you release that money w- with love because you, you are supportive of whatever that organization or person is doing, you claim your return. You claim it right away. You say, I receive as I give. Now, we do talk about in the, in the Prosperity and Money Magic course how 10, if you look at 10 as being a masculine and a feminine, this is the, this is the constant the constant uh, uh, fertility of the universe, 10. So if you, if you give a dollar, make sure that you claim your tenfold return. I'm giving this dollar and I'm claiming my $10 return. I'm giving this $100, I'm claiming my $1,000 return. A lot of times people don't, don't think they're allowed to put a claim on it. Well, what point is, what, why, why would that be? They would be like, well, I'm going to plant a seed, but I better not be so selfish as to think it's going to take root and flower and, and, and give to me. But think about when you, when you plant a seed. When you plant a single seed, you're not getting a seed back. You're not getting a seed in return. You're getting infinite amounts of, 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 uh, of something in return. You know, if it's a fruit tree, it just keeps giving and giving and giving and giving to you. So yeah, you're, you're claiming your tenfold return, but it's always infinitely more. It's always infinitely more. The reason why we claim that tenfold return is so that our minds are open to how the law of expansion works. All right? So, and the same, does, the same goes with things that are not financial that you're giving. So, like I said, if you're not feeling like people, if you're feeling unfairly treated by the universe, well, then you better go out there and really uh, give fair treatment to people. And you claim that return when you do that. You, you do it as a magical act. If you're, if you're feeling lonely, you go out there and you start connecting with somebody and you claim that tenfold return and you expect it. You expect it. If you need more clothes, maybe you go give some clothes away. 
Maybe you just go give some clothes that you that 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 are still really good, but you you claim your return. This is not selfish to do this. It's it's out of self-interest, but the universe wants you to exist out of self-interest. Everything good is done out of self-interest, not selfishness. It's not selfish to claim your tenfold return on whatever it is that you are giving. It is not selfish. It is the law. It is just you working in cooperation with the basic law of increase. Now, I will. I, I, I probably talked to many of you about this before, but I want to just give you some examples of of how this works. Um, back in the in the day when I had a, a, a particular business, we were we were in a financial bind and we didn't know what to do, and uh, we didn't have any way to get that money in. And, uh, and it was a lot of money that needed to, to come in more than what we could that we could hope to to make during uh, for, uh, through normal means to pay a couple of bills that we were not expecting, and we were a, a very young company. So I said, well, you know, we as a as a company haven't really been tithing. We haven't been really contributing anything. We haven't been giving anything. I, if, if it were me, what I would do, luckily I was in business with other people of a like mind. I said, what I would do if it were m- me is I would take 10% of that amount that we need and give it away right now and claim our tenfold return. And luckily for me, all of my my partners were on board with that idea. And I can't remember how much it was, to be honest. I th- it, it, I maybe, I don't remember, it was thousands of dollars. I know it wasn't hundreds, it was thousands. So we gave the 10%. And within one week, we got a check back for almost exactly 10 times that amount, maybe a few cents off. And it was from some sort of insurance payment I mean, I guess there was some sort of water damage to the the entire to the entire park, the the the, uh, the uh, our business park, and I guess they split it amongst the tenants or something. I don't know because we didn't personally have water damage. We didn't know that we had that coming to us, but that check came within days. And so what that taught me was that usually the last thing we feel like doing when we are in need is finding something to give. In, in in terms of what we need. Usually that's the last thing we want to do because if we could afford to give, then <laughs> we wouldn't be in this problem. But when I when when I think of that, I always try to see this image. Giving and receiving are the same. Stinginess, I there's no way the money can come in. There's no way that whatever it is, not just money, can come in because I'm I'm hanging on. But if I say oh, I'm going to give something. I'm going to give something. Then I'm putting I'm put myself into a position to receive. And that's why for it's such good business. It's it makes and, and you see so many businesses doing this. So many businesses give. They give back to the community. They give to whatever whatever the business is oriented towards. And the reason why successful businesses always do this is because it works. It works better if you know how to claim that return. So while we're talking about tithing, I want to talk to you about something that that is somewhat known. I mean, I, I know that it's kind of talked about a lot, but I want to make sure that we talk about it in the right way. There's a difference between tithing and what they call seed money. What they call seed money, you, you, many of you have probably heard this. Um, it's it's kind of been around for a while, and it's something that's been practiced for centuries. But this is how this works. The, the, the way that, that most people teach this, it, and I, I kind of in agreement, am in agreement with the, the bulk of it, is that if you give 10% of whatever you bring in back to back, to, to now they say that it should be where you receive your spiritual food. Um, I, some of that is a way that they can make sure that you're trying to give to them, you know. I say just give back to where you're led to give. Maybe you need to give back to the community. Maybe wherever you feel the God and goddess's work is being done, that's where you give. And and you ask, you just ask, you know, infinite spirit, show me where to give. Show me where to give. Show me where to give. And if you're always giving 
10% of what you're bringing in, then you're always on that trajectory toward increase, 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 increase. And things seem to work out better for you. I know it, it's true for me. Um, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I've been stingy with my giving, um, I, it's shown up in the bottom line. And when I'm not stingy with my giving, the bottom line always increases. It's always the truth. Now, after you've done that, what, I mean, if 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 ten percent of what you're what you're if you're giving ten percent of what you're getting, and you'll and you notice that that it's that you get a lot more safety with your income, that you get a lot more um, uh, you know surety with with your income, your money seems to be working better, and you're comfortable with giving ten percent. What you can do is, in addition to that, you can find places to give extra money and plant a seed. So, for instance, um, you know, uh, uh, this is outside of your normal giving. So, for instance, some somebody um, calls me up and says, I, I, uh, such and such uh, organization is, is doing work for blah, 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 and I know that you support da, 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 da. We were wondering if we could count on you for a contribution. And if I really feel like this is a good 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 place to do it, I'll say, sure. And then I'll give them, I don't know, let's say $50. And that's not my tithe, if you will, but that's my seed money. I take that $50, I give it lovingly, just like I do with any other gift, and I claim a, a, a tenfold return on that. I, I'm lovingly giving to this $50 to support this wonderful organization, and I now claim you know, my $500 return. I claim it. Uh, maybe maybe you um, you 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 decide that this waitress is so amazing with what she's doing that instead of just giving you your the normal twenty percent tip or whatever you decide to give her a hundred percent tip you claim that tenfold return when you do that doesn't matter where you're giving it at that point you know you could you could give it to a homeless person and claim your tenfold return it doesn't really matter as long as you are being led to give it as long as the universe is showing you where to give. When you do that, not only do you have that overall amazing protection of your finances that regular giving gives you when you, when you, when you can give that 10%, but in, then you start noticing an increase in your, in your income. Now, I remember the first year I experimented with this. I said, I'm going to see if this works. So I'm going to do it. I'm gonna because I know that tithing works. I've already proven that to myself. So I'm, I'm I I was already down with that, and and my business was very protected. And I've never you know I've always had what I needed um, with no problems. And I know that that's because of how I give. So I thought, well, I'm gonna really I mean because I'd kind of pra- you know played around with this seed money idea, but I'm, I said I'm gonna do it for a year and just see. Above and beyond that 10%, I'm just going to give a little bit here and a little bit there. Well, when I tallied it up, (laughs) when I tallied it up, um, when we were doing taxes, sure enough, the bottom line went up to almost identically the amount of money that was tenfold uh, what I was giving out. So whereas I would have normally made, you know, one, uh, one, one particular figure, it was higher we had an increase, and 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 I looked and to and I said, well, what? How much seed money did I give this year? Well, it was exactly one tenth of the of the increase. Not exactly, but pretty cl- close enough to be like, whoa, this stuff really works. This is amazing, right? So you're not just arbitrarily giving. You're not just like throwing your money away. You are consciously giving from your heart where you're led to give and claiming your return claiming it. Think of it as a spell. You are giving and receiving. And there's nothing selfish. It does not turn off your, your, your generosity. It's a, it, it actually increases your, your generosity because there's so many reasons to give. Yes, it's good to give because it's great, because you're helping people and you're, and you're, and you're making the world a better place. But it's also good to give in addition to that because you're going to get more. There's nothing wrong with that. Say yay, <laughs> and pull, and allow that money to come in and shower all around you. And as, like I said, the same can be done for anything, not just money. You can seed anything by giving it. Now, money's a lot easier to keep track of. It's easier to say ten percent, and you know that kind of thing. But the same principle holds for anything. But giving 
and receiving are the same thing, yet you need to, in this world, give in the form that you want to receive. That's just how it works. I don't know why that is. People have always tried to say, yeah, I, don't, I can't afford to give money, so I'm going to give this. Well, they get more of this that they give. They don't get more money. So you have to learn. You have to learn how to give the form that you want to receive and claim it. And don't overextend yourself when you're doing this. Use, start small. Test it. Prove it to yourself. If you are not proving it to yourself, then don't keep increasing it. It must, you must see proof that this is working. Otherwise, don't do it. If it's not working, it's not because it doesn't work. It's because you're not really giving. You're looking at it as a sacrifice or you're, you're giving begrudgingly or out of fear or something else. Don't do that. Wait until, don't give at all unless you can do it with total abandon and very graciously and very gratefully and with lots of, of, of joy and, and uh, gratitude for all the blessings that you receive. And then claim that tenfold return and just see. And you'll see, once you start noticing how this stuff works, then you start increasing your giving. Don't try to, don't try to overdo things. That's always a recipe for failure. Don't say, well, if this really works, I'm just going to go and just give everything. Don't do that. You start small and give and only increase your giving as your income increases from doing that. Okay? Small, slow, steady, fully, fully engaged in the joy of what giving is. All right. Well, this has been very great. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to work with you again. And until that time, blessed be. Blessed be.